konnichiwa minasan namaskar and welcome to the class in the second lecture series on introduction to japanese language and culture uh, we were doing ageru murau and kureru in our previous lectures now these are polite verbs used in formal conversation today also we will do verbs in uh, formal conversation and see what these new verbs are so let us see what we have but before that i have a conversation for you a passage for you and uh, you can listen to the passage and see how much you are able to understand and whatever is left we are going to do right here so listen very carefully watashi wa mira to moshimasu kino watashi no onei san no kekkon kinenbi deshita お姉さんは結婚してから10年になりました。昨日うちでパーティーがありました。彼女の学校と会社の友達がみんな来てくれました。お姉さんは友達にたくさんお土産をもらいました。お姉さんの学校の時の先生もいらっしゃいました。先生に素晴らしいお土産をいただきました。お母さんはみんなのためにおいしいケーキを作ってくれました。ご主人はお姉さんに記念の指輪を買ってあげましたそしてお姉さんのために歌も歌いました私たちはとても楽しかったです So now you just heard the passage and I'm sure some parts of the passage are clear and the rest which is not clear we will do right now This is a passage about Mira and her elder sister So we have Watashi wa Mira to moshimasu. Moshimasu means I am called Mira. Kino watashi no one san no kekkon kinenbi deshita. Kekkon is marriage, you already know, and kinenbi is anniversary. So watashi no one san no kekkon kinenbi deshita. One san wa kekkon shite kara junen ni narimashita. So narimashita means It is 10 years now. Kino uchi de party ga arimashita. So, de we have done uchi de event ga arimashita. Kanojo no gakko to kaisha no tomodachi ga minna kite kuremashita. Kanojo is one san no imi desne. So, kanojo no gakko to and kaisha no of kaisha tomodachi ga. Because they came and it is a fact and it has already happened. So, Mira knows. So, Tomodachi ga minna all kite kuremashita. They came and I received the pleasure of having them at home. Tomodachi ni meaning from Tomodachi omiyage o morai mashita received. Get. So, Taksan Omiyage o Morai Mashita. Presents o Morai Mashita. Now we have more over here. One san no gakko no toki no sensei mo irashai mashita. She came. One san no gakko school no toki no sensei mo irashai mashita. Sensei ni from sensei again. From sensei, subarashi, exceptional, omiyage o itadaki mashita. I got or I received. So, over here, who has received? One san has received. So, oka san wa minna no tamini. For everyone, everyone, oishi keki o tsukutte kuremashita. So, oka san wa tsukuru. Tsukuru. The plain form of the verb is tsukuru. It is in te form plus kure mashita. Meaning, she made and we received the pleasure of eating the cake. So, I will explain all these forms after we have completed the passage. Over here, just concentrate on the meaning. Goshujin wa one san ni kinen no yubi wa o katte agemashita. So now, someone wa someone ni 
Kinen no yubiwa is ring. O katte age mashita. Kaimas kau and ageru. Soshite and one san no tame ni for one san for one san uta mo also utai mashita. Uta u is the verb. So he gave a ring to my sister and he also sang for her. Watashi tachi wa totemo tanushikatta desu. Watashi tachi is all of us wa totemo. Exceptionally or exceptionally or very. So now totemo over here is used with I adjectives. We have done it earlier for you for the time being concentrate only on I adjectives. It is also used with verbs but at the moment concentrate on I adjectives. So now this is in your script and a lot of kanji characters you can understand. So try to practice those. Now let us learn different ways to make a request. Now what do I mean by that? Well basically showing levels of politeness. When requesting a person to do something or inviting someone over to do something with you. Now the simplest form of request that you have done is verb in te form plus kudasai. Tabete kudasai. Mite kudasai. Nonde kudasai. Now this te kudasai form is also a semi order. And why am I saying that? Because well, someone is asking you, you are being requested to do something and the person who is asking you to do a certain thing has not asked for your opinion, what you desire. He is just saying that please do this for me just by using a verb which shows respect or which shows request. So, so your opinion is not considered over here. Now you will understand this better. Look at this. Tanaka-san, present o akete kudasai. So whether you want to open the present or not has not been asked. You are just being requested to open the present. For example, you can say Tanaka-san, yonde kudasai. So please read. Whether you want to read or not has not been considered. Now, Tanaka-san, presento o akete mite kudasai. You have done this form earlier. So, somebody is telling you, suggesting to you that Tanaka-san, presento o akete, please open and see. So, please is over here. Please open and see. Again, you are not asked whether you want to open and see it right now or not. Now again you can see over here, how will you make a request? These two are direct, isn't it? These two are direct, you are not being asked. Now over here just see, you are being asked, Tanaka-san, isho ni krab e ikimasen ka? So won't you please come with me to the club? Now your opinion is being considered or taken into account you are being asked. So when you use verb in negative plus ka it becomes a request. It is a polite invitation. Now we did the verb itadakimasu in our last class as you I am sure remember. It means receiving something from someone older in age and in rank or in formal situations. And what does it express or show? It shows respect. So now let us see the new polite way to make a request. How will you make a request to someone to do something for you or to do something with you? So we are using this word tetsudau.
Tetsudao. This is the dictionary form or plain form. Sumimasen, chotto tetsudatte kudasai. So, whenever you are requesting someone to do something, obviously you are going to say sumimasen or please excuse me or I am sorry, I am going to be taking your time. So, basically all of that will come to sumimasen or you can also do it in the negative. You can say sumimasen, tetsudawa nai de kudasai, tetsudawa nai de kudasai. Maybe you are angry with the person, maybe you do not need help, maybe you are not on very good terms with the person, so you do not want to interact with the person. So, you can say sumimasen, tetsudawa nai de kudasai, please do not help me. I mean these are just situations I am telling you, well nobody uses this, but yes you can make in negative as well with kudasai. Then sumimasen, chotto tetsudatte kurenai. So, very very informal, extremely informal and to be used with people either your same age or people younger to you. Even though you are using kuremas, but still you are using it in plain form. So, it is not that polite. Similarly, even though you are using kudasai over here, you are still ordering as we just learnt. So, look at this one now. Sumimasen, chotto tetsudatte kuremasen ka. Now, this is polite. You are saying tetsudatte kuremasen and you are using this ka over here, which shows that it is respectful, one and two, shows your position that you are over here and the person you are asking to help is over here here is senior. It is not in your own group or to family members. You will use kurenai with family members. Now, you can see the degree of politeness, how it is increasing. Over here it is kudasai semi-order, it is with friends over here or with family. Now, this is a little more towards being respectful and humble. And what is this over here? Itada kemasen ka? Sumimasen chotto tetsudatte. Very, very polite. Definitely you can make out from here that the person is senior or the situation is formal. It is not just your friends or family. So, tetsudatte itada kemasen ka? Position is still here. The person is over here and your position is here. So, you can see the degree how it changes from very polite to not being so polite being direct. As I told you, you can see the degree over here as well. For example, tetsudai mas, tetsudai mas. It means I will help, tetsudai masen, I will not help, not help. Now, if I say tetsu datte kudasai, then please help, but again it is semi order. I am doing these things again and again with you, so that it is very clear to you how to use these forms and what is the meaning of these forms, because these are used a lot in daily conversation. Then tetsudai masen and ka. So, in the negative, with the negative masen form, use ka and make it polite, respectful. Then we have sumimasen, tetsudatte kuremasen ka. So, even more polite over here, because kuremasen is definitely more polite than masen ka. You are here and the person you are asking help from is over here. So, please give it to me, please help me and I will receive the favor of your help. 
Now, if you want it to be even more polite, then sumimasen. Tetsu datte ita dake masen ka, as we did in our previous slide. So, this is the most polite way to ask someone for some help. As I have been saying, verb te kudasai is a semi order with a polite word which is kudasai. Whereas, although verb te plus kuremas or kureru is considered polite or humble, you would have noticed that it is in plain form. The verb is still in plain form and sounds still more like an order and it is considered informal. So, even though it is humble, it is still not very polite. So, now as we did in our previous slide, you can replace verb tetsudau with any other verb like you can see over here this is what we did previously sumimasen chotto tetsudatte kuremasen ka now you can replace tetsudau with matsu with au or with yomu now what are these verbs wait, meet and read. So, you can say sumimasen chotto matte kuremasen ka, please will you wait for a minute for me or sumimasen chotto sensei ni atte kuremasen ka, please will you go and meet sensei or you can say sumimasen chotto watashi no Kawari ni sensei ni atte kuremasen ka. Please will you go instead of me and meet sensei or with yonde you can say sumimasen chotto yonde kuremasen ka or for example we are in class and I ask you to read something. So well of course I will not use the kuremas over here to you directly in class but yes just for practicing ano mira san chotto yonde kuremasen ka please won't you read it for me so this is how you can use any of these other verbs instead of tetsuda now if you want to be even more polite then sumimasen chotto tetsudatte itadake masen ka as we have been doing and replace any of the verbs instead of tetsuda. Now, verb te form plus kurenai which was there in one of our previous slides is the most informal method of requesting people to do something for you as I told you at that time. This is used more with family members, close friends, your peer group, people younger to you, you could use it with classmates, wherever basically there is an informal relationship, informal relationship and uh, people senior to you, you cannot use this kurenai form. You have to remember that, you have to remember that when you are doing conversation. Sumimasen chotto tetsudatte kurenai, yatte kurenai, hanashite kurenai, mite kurenai. So, again as I told you with your peer group, people who are your age, your nakama, friends. For example, you can only tell your friends or people who are younger to you, you can order them about, isn't it? Hayaku itte, hayaku itte, so hayaku itte kurenai, just a little soft. The order becomes a little soft, that is about all. Hayaku itte, a direct order. Hayaku itte kurenai, so your body language is a little polite. Soretotte, so to somebody who is younger to you. You cannot order any and everybody about. So, soretotte kurenai and it becomes a little soft and polite. Koko ni kaite, so koko ni kaite kudasai. Okoko ni kaite kurenai, 
So for example, you can have a situation where you want somebody's phone number and uh, you don't have a pen to write. So you can tell your friend, koko ni kaite kurenai, won't you please write it over here for me? You want salt, so sore o totte kurenai, shio o totte kurenai. So in this manner, it becomes informal. Now we just learn to use verb in te form plus kuremashita. Now let us see how we can use verb in te form plus agiru and verb in te form plus murau and what it conveys actually. There are some sentences from our passage, so let us see what they are. Tomodachi wa uchi ni kite kuremashita. So they came and came and I received the pleasure as I had just explained in the beginning. Now kuremas is humble and kudasai mashita is polite. Please remember meaning is the same that tomodachi wa uchi ni kite kuremashita. So they came over. Now you have to look at this very very carefully. Tomodachi ni seta o tsukutte moraimashita. So tomodachi made, tomodachi made and who received? I received the favor. I received the sweater. So watashi is missing over here. Watashi wa is missing over here. This is very very important. You will see just now why it is important. Watashi wa tsumani again wa is over here and this one. Watashi wa tsumani gohan o tsukutte she made and morai mashita I got. Gohan is food so oksan made made food for for me. Now Tomodachi ni shukudai o tetsudatte moraimashita. So again he helped and I got the or received the favor. So now you will see that te kuremas moraimas. Later on you will see others as well. Who is the subject and who is receiving the favor? Who is giving what to whom? You have to keep that in mind. Muraimas and kudasaimas that will change. You can give something as I had explained earlier. I can give you and I can give someone else as well. You can also give someone something. Now you can see very clearly instead of tomodachi you can put chichi onisan haha someone over here. Tomodachi ni shukudai o tetsudatte muraimashita. Chichi ni shukudai o tetsudatte muraimashita. Haha ni something o oshiete muraimashita. So you can replace tomodachi with any of this. Now you will see in morau who is the beneficiary? It is watashi. And in kureru, who is the benefactor? X. So you have to be very careful with the subject. Subject wa. Subject could be anybody, it could be me, or it could be onisan, okasan, tomodachi, sensei, tanaka san, anyone. And then who is receiving what is also very, very important. So again and again I am giving you sentences again and again trying to tell you the same thing because this is used a lot in daily conversation. So by using te form of the verb plus morau as you saw just now we say that we get or we receive or we arrange or persuade someone to do something for us. By this we basically mean that a favor was done to either me or to someone else. In a broader sense you could say basically a favor done. 
Similarly, we use the te form for ageru when we do something for others or when someone else does something for someone else or others. Now you can look at these examples and try to understand. Tomodachi ni seta o tsukutte agimashita. Now if it was morai mashita, then tomodachi ni seta o tsukutte moratta is I got, I received. Over here we are saying tomodachi ni seta o tsukutte agimashita, I gave. So the verb will change on who is giving what to whom. For example, watashi wa tsuma ni yubi wa okatte agimashita, I gave. And if it was moraimashita over here, then, then the meaning would have been that I got a yubi wa from my wife. Now, if we change the subject over here. For example, suma wa watashi ni. So, what is the verb going to be over here? Can you tell me? We have been doing it for so long now. I think it's very clear. Ku zeru. So, suma wa watashi ni yubi wa okatte kure mashita. Watashi wa ototo ni okane o kashite agimashita. I lent him money. Watashi wa ototo ni moshikomi sho o katte agimashita. Moshikomi sho is application form. So, ototo ni kaite agimashita means I wrote and then gave it to him. Basically, I wrote the application for him. Please remember how to use these verbs with te form and the meaning. So, I watashi or someone wa verb in te ageru basically means on demand or is a favor. So, I can also say ja mira san chotto pen o kashite agete please lend the pen to x y z whoever I am pointing at. So, it could be a, a demand by me that please do this or it could be a favor to me that please do this for me. So, over here you can see these two. So, Mira san wa Rao san ni from wine o tsukutte moraimashita she received. Then Rao san wa Mira san ni wine o tsukutte agemashita he gave to Mira san age mashita. Now, Rao san wa watashi ni wai no tsukutte kure mashita. Now, who is saying? Mira san is saying that Rao san wa watashi ni to me wai no tsukutte kure mashita. She is being very, very humble that he was kind enough to make wine and pour the wine in the glass and give it to me. So, I got or I received. Now, Rao san, why not skutte itada ke masen ka? Polite way of requesting Rao san to get a glass of wine for her. So, itada ke masen ka, very, very polite. So, you can see how it changes actually. How basically, in a broader sense, meaning is the same, but how level of politeness changes. Now, you can use it in another way as well. Look at this one. These two are talking and you can see this lady struggling with her luggage. So, what do they say? Tetsudatte agemashou ka? Shall I go and? This is shall. Mashou and ka means shall depending on the verb. So, the verb is agemashou ka? Shall I go and help her? Is what this gentleman is saying. And then he goes over there, he goes to the lady and he says, Tetsudai mashoka, shall I help you? Shall I help you? Why I have put it over here is this is very common and uh, generally if someone is having problem with luggage, 
or with bags, maybe in the mall, maybe at the airport, maybe at the station. Well, tetsudai mashoka is what you should say. So, I have some polite verbs for you here which are used in daily conversation. Let us see what they are. So, this is also very, very typical where on the phone, if you have to ask whether the person is present or not and also when you have to tell who you are, then what are the verbs that are going to be used. So, moshi moshi is hello as you know and two moshis together is hello, not just one moshi. Also, do not use moshi as a hello as a greeting. Mira to moshimasu. Moshi mas. Ga rao san irashai mas ka. So, two polite verbs. Mo u su. Mo su means called. And irasharu means irasharu means present. Basically, this verb is polite for iku, kuru, and kairu. Over here, is he present over there? Gakko no toki no sensei mo irashai mashita. This was there in the passage that she was also present. Iru. Irasharu is the polite for iru, kuru and iku. Same picture over here. Now, this is just for practice again, but with a polite verb. So, Mirasan kono wine wa oishi kara meshi agatte kudasai. Meshi agaru is polite for taberu. So, for drinking, meshi agatte kudasai. You are having a cup of tea. So, dozo kocha o meshi agatte kudasai. This is very typical. You go to somebody's house and dozo nonde kudasai will never be used. Dozo meshi agatte kudasai when somebody is offering coffee or tea to you and then it can also be used for eating so you can see okasan ga tsukutta kara she has made this thus meshi agatte kudasai please eat now will you say that okasan ga tsukutta kara watashi wa meshi agarimasu why will you not use Meshi agarimasu because meshi agarimasu is polite and to yourself you do not have to use this verb. You can use tabe mas to your family members also immediate family members you will not use meshi agarimasu always use tabe mas. So, these polite verbs you need to understand that you cannot use with family members and with yourself. It is only in formal situations and people older to you or when you want to give respect to others. There are some more polite verbs. This you did just now. Ikukuru and kairu is irasharu as we did. Then we have kureru which is kudasaru we have been doing for a long time. Ageru is sashi ageru which you have already done and itadaku we did here in this lesson which is again for respect to others and formal situations. Now, taberu we did just now, meshi agaru. This is all in dictionary form or plain form as it is called jishoke and there are more verbs over here. You is mosu watashi wa mira to moshimas or osharu which means to tell or to speak sensei ga oshai mashita then we have suru and the polite for suru is nasaru miru is goran ni naru of course we have not done any sentence so far and i'm going to cover these two later then mairu Mairimas is very, very humble when you say I come from a certain place. So, you will notice something over here which I am going to do very soon. 
These verbs end in ru. Kudasaru, irasharu, osharu, nasaru. Okay? But when you make the mas form, what happens? Let us see. Irasharu, irasharu. So, we need to remove the u and put i. Imas, isn't it? But that does not happen over here. It is irasharu, imas. So, the ru is removed over here. Please remember and not u. This is an exception. In a similar manner, kodasaru. Again, you will remove the ru over here and kodasai mas. Nasaru. Again, nasai. Osharu and Oshaimas. You will see over here, but just concentrate on these two at the moment and we will do these two later. Now you have done introduction. Vatashiva so and so this, Indokara this. How are we going to change this with polite verbs? You will see. Hajime mashite, watashi wa mira desu, indo kara desu, dozo yoroshiku onegai shimasu. This is what you have done. How are we going to make it polite? Hajime mashite, mira to moshimasu, indo kara maeri mashita, yoroshiku onegai shimasu. So, mosu and maeru, maeru. Please remember these two verbs, very important when you are doing your introduction. You need to be very polite and very humble. So, remember these two verbs. Now, this introduction you can forget as you do know these polite verbs. So, use these verbs. So, now there is this expression in one of our sentences, gakko no toki, which roughly corresponds to at that particular time. So, the time is shown by the noun mentioned in the sentence. How is that done? Let us see. Kodomo no toki. So, when I was a child. At the time when I was a child. Yoku terubi wo mimashita. At that time. At that time. Yoku is lots again, but it refers to degree. It is something that cannot be counted. So, kodomo no toki yoku terubi wo mimashita. I watched a lot of TV. Kodomo no toki yoku osoku made terubi wo mimashita. So, till late at the time when I was a child, I was small. Yoku a lot osoku made till late terubi wo mimashita. I saw. So, kodomo no toki tomodachi to issho ni with my friend yoku picnic e ikimashita. I have put itta also and ikimashita also over here so that you understand that both mean the same. Only level of politeness is there. Now, koko no toki yoku arubaito wo shimashita. As a high school student, at the time when I was in high school, I did lot of arubaito and this is part time. This is a common thing which the students do in foreign countries. As high school students, as university students, they do a lot of arubaito which is part time work. So, you can also see how to use at a particular time. Now, this is only used with nouns. Please remember, I have done with verbs but will be doing it again later with you. Now, this is your vocabulary. Please go over the vocabulary. And with this, I would like to finish today's class. There is lot of ageru, murau and kureru which we have done. There is masen ka also which we have done. And we have also done te form of the verb with itadaku and kudasaru and ageru. So, please do that, practice that at home, 
with your partner, make small dialogues, answer, make the question, answer and I am sure you will be very, very comfortable. So till our next class, arigatou gozaimashita, mata aimashou.